Hello again and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be looking at a game called Letterpress which is a game that got released yesterday and is brought to you from the creators of the popular Twitter client Tweety. It's um, a fresh new unique word game, it's multiplayer and I'm just going to get straight in and show you how to play it and what happens. So first of all if you want to play somebody it's all done through Game Center and you've got to invite them. So you find the person on your list you want to find. So we'll go with that one send them a request and why do you take your turn as well and basically you met with a 5x5 five five grid of letters to choose from and each letter is worth one point so obviously the bigger the words the bigger the point is going to be um, so you've got to find a word uh, within there and then that's your turn moved but it's not just about that it's more about trying to outmaneuver your opponent so you end up having more points at the end of the game now to do that each letter you use gets a point and also a colour. So when I choose my word now, so let's have a look. Um, we'll go for a small one. So I've gone for that one. You can see it's going to cost me five. It's going to give me five points, and I'll submit that. So then all my squares are now my colour. Then the opponent will take their turn and try and use my coloured letters to steal them back from me, and also get my. Um, points. So say if this player made a word out of the letters, say if they put some, they'd get those squares, they'd go up pink and they'd get four points of mine, so I'd end up with one point and they'd end up with the four points. So we'll go to one that's already in progress. Up here. And you can see last move they did was frosty and they're in pink. So now I've got to try and find a um, word, if possible, from the pink ones to try and steal a few of their points. So we'll try um, souls. So I, and as you, I don't know if you noticed, but as you type, the score changes so you can see what your score is going to be. So I'll see if that works. It does. And it tells you there they lost five points and you gained the five points. So it's really, really easy. Um, and you keep doing this until. Every tile is full of colour, whether it be the green ones or the pink or whatever colour theme you've chosen. And the player with the most coloured tiles and highest score wins. But there is a little twist to it. You can actually lock tiles by surrounding them in your own colour. So like um, this other player has locked that T because they've got their pink tiles around that pink tile. So I can't touch that one. Well, I can touch it um, and use it as a word, but I can't change it back to green and I can't score from it. So say if I'd made a word with that beginning with T like 10, T, E, N and S. I would have got the three points, not the four, and everything else would have gone green, but not the T, would have stayed the pink. So the idea then would be to try and use these three words here to um, get them to my colour, and then if I did, that would unlock that T, so I could then use it again and score points from it. And you just work your way through and do that with every game. So I'll try again here. Their last word, you can see which words they've played there. So I'm going to go with, let's have a look, snow. You see the points change in the top. So if I move, make that snow then it'd be five points to me and three points only to them. So I'll go with that and submit it. It tells you score. If you press that there, it also you can, that's where you can resign a game if you want to or if you want to pass if you just can't think of any word, which I'm sure will happen soon enough with me. Um, and then you just work your way through. It's really, really good. It's actually a free game at the moment. Um, the free game is um, only allows you to have two games at once. I upgraded straight away. And if you upgrade, you can play as many as you want. And you also get to choose from some really nice coloured themes as well, which is handy. So give it a try. Um, if you're not sure, as I say, try it first because it's free. And if you do like it, you may as well upgrade. But it's definitely worth the 69p that I paid for it. And um, it's one that I've not been able to put down since yesterday. So give it a try and see what you think. Thanks for watching.